Okay, vlog day two. Uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning and I am uh, off to work. I've been teaching for 20 years, about as long as I've been doing the music stuff. Actually, sorry, I'm just finishing 19. I think I'm finishing 19. 19 years of teaching. I'll turn the air down because that's probably loud. And as my usual ritual, I'll listen in the morning here on my drive to mixes I did in the studio the previous night. I throw them in my Dropbox, and let's see if I can pull them up. Um, I won't be able to play every song I'm always working on on my vlog here. Sometimes there's artists that um, probably don't want their music released on Sam in the Studio vlog. But, all right, so we got my music all set up. This is a little hip hop I'm working on. Let's check it in my car, see how the bass is working. All right, I'll show you my classroom in just a minute. We are the Cindy, take off the flag, I call the Indy. Alright, so here I am in my classroom, and this is a public high school, the Cerna High School in Whittier, California, and I've been teaching here for 19 years, and I teach uh, art, painting, and drawing, art projects, and I also teach film production, so uh, cameras, and uh, lots of Macs around the room, film posters on the wall. Um, I also have a little uh, recording setup in here that I can uh, listen and work on tracks and stuff like that during my lunch break, so I've done that for a long time. And uh, yeah, this is Friday, last Friday of the year, so wrapping up the school year, entering, putting in grades and stuff like that, and just wrapping up the year. There's the bell. All right, I got a meeting right now, so gotta run. Oops. All right, so uh, last regular day of school. School's out for summer. So, yep, every class was a party today. And didn't anyone think it was ironic last regular day of school also happened to be National Donut Day? Like, what's up with that? I may or may not have had a couple of donuts today. I won't say how many. So, all right, heading home, see the fam, not eat any more donuts, work a little bit in the studio. Friday, Friday, so hope everyone's having a good Friday. All right, I'm hanging outside for a minute here. We're about to have dinner in just a second. Outside, it's a nice day. So, doing family dinner. And I was inside for a minute, uh, looking up online, researching uh, songs that have been licensed or used a lot in licensing. So, just uh, sitting there on a laptop. Uh, there's a couple different uh, sites you can go to. Um, I think it's iSpot something dot uh, TV and that has a like just a bunch of different commercials and also kind of gives you or shows you what s the artist is and the song is and so I find ones and I like write them down I kind of got a little running list to keep track and I'm just kind of using those to uh, gauge and see if I can start to produce and write songs in that avenue in that vein so that's really the goal this summer and I'm also passionate about it and helping other people do the same thing too. I've been working with Kat McDowell and she is on to something great. Some songs that I think are very licensable. Uh, here comes another helicopter again. Man, there's been so many helicopters lately. Uh, mostly the news ones I think. Sometimes they're um, the copters. Yep, that looks like a news helicopter. Sometimes it's the ones that are um, the sheriff or the police ones. So, huh, yeah, there they go. So anyways, that's something I'm 
that's a goal. That's a plan for the summer is just to uh, write some songs and send them out there and see if I can get something to stick out there in the licensing world. So, yeah. And if you want a good podcast, it um, helps inspire you too. I really like Kathy Heller's Don't Keep Your Day Job. And that's basically what she really took off doing. Her passion was writing songs for the market of licensing, getting used on commercials and TV and film and stuff like that. So there you go. There's a podcast to go listen to. Don't keep your day job. And all right, I'll be in the studio in a minute here after dinner. All right, what's up, everyone? Sam in the studio, Friday edition. Here we go. Want to see what you guys are up to, uh, what's going on in your worlds, and maybe talk a little bit of audio today. I do want to. Uh, mention that I'm gonna vlog a little bit here. I'm trying to do a daily vlog. I was inspired by Joe Gilder and a couple other guys. I like watching uh, just kind of bits and pieces day in the life of. So I don't know how exciting my life is, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. So I got a vlog going and I'm dual cameras right now. So what I'm filming right here, if you miss any of it, you could uh, jump on over to YouTube by tomorrow maybe even later tonight, should be up. So yeah, inspired to just do do some, some audio chit chat, little bits and pieces of the ongoings of, of Canuck and Ear Witness Studios in Whittier, California. So I see some people hopping on. So someone let me know what, what you're up to and maybe what the topic, the the chit chat of the of the uh, of the Facebook Live thing might be. I see you on. I see you on. So my YouTube channel is just youtube.com backslash my name Sam Kanak. Kanak has no C in it. K N A A K. Uh, so if you haven't looked me up and added me on YouTube, it's a little bit of everything. I try to do a little bit of uh, demos, some gear demos here and there. I'm into guitar stuff, guitar pedals and and recording gear, equipment and mics and guitars and keyboard stuff. So, what projects are you working on right now? Fern, what's up, man? Hey, here is a, a bass player that, that I, gosh, have known um, man, how long has it been since we did uh, Repeat Repeat was a band that goes back, way back. Um, and that's one of, those are what, that's just some of the, the history, some of the growing things. So along with my teaching uh, gig, um, I'm at Lucerna High School. It all started with 2005. And the guys were in a battle of the bands and I offered my services kind of as the prize. So uh, I offered uh, a song to produce a song for the winner of a battle of the bands and Repeat Repeat was the winner, hands down. Great dance rock band. It was like dance rock before dance rock was even popular. You guys started in 2002. I knew it was even earlier than that. Yeah, I want to say... Uh, Gosh, it was early 2000s that we that we recorded, and you can still find it online. Repeat, repeat, uh, Rocket Pack, no Rocket Pack. I think it was maybe the name of the album. So, and for Nelly, that's on played bass, and another again part of the history here uh, from that band. I've kind of kept in touch with most of the guys, but Corey, who also played uh, in the band went on to do a solo project, which I recorded and produced, uh, Corey Adams and the Rabble Family. And then Corey joined in with some other guys and made up Moonsville Collective, a bluegrass band. And I've done three projects for Moonsville Collective. And now, which good thing you asked, what am I working on now? Um, Corey's wife, Ari, is doing an EP. So we've been working on Ari's EP, kind of chipping away at it. Um, I'm working with an artist named Hunter Scott McLeod. Um, most of it's like singer-songwriters. I am mixing some hip-hop here and there, but kind of the, the fun, cool stuff. There's a, a great singer-songwriter. I don't know if you know her, but Ashley Nicole Emerson is local too. She's from right around here. Um, 
Yeah, so Clarence, what's up? About to go in the studio and rearrange my racks. Oh man, whew. Yeah, that's, that's a, a job. And I'm getting really close to doing that in here too. Um, just because of the adding the uh, Orion 32 HD, which is so nice because it's a lot of uh, DB25 in and out. So I'm up in the air about whether I will uh, use my patch bay or not, because it's now getting to the point with technology, it's, uh, it's a digital patch bay, you know, instead of like taking the little, you know, TT plugs and plugging stuff in, you're just gonna go in and do all that stuff on there. Um, oh, half awesome vlog, thank you. Yeah, so again, hop on YouTube if you haven't done so and add my YouTube channel and this will be on there. So I'm dueling uh, Facebook Live and vlogging right now. And I don't know, uh, I am a newbie, a rookie, so to speak, in the whole vlog thing. So I don't know, I, it's hard because I watch a couple of them and I, I like them. I think that they're really entertaining. It's like little windows into a day in the life of different people. And so I've gotten kind of hooked on a couple of them. I think Joe Gilder was, uh, is one that he just kind of started a new one. I know he's kind of done a lot of that stuff in the past. Um, he has a pretty good YouTube following, but it was, uh, Joe's kind of daily one that kind of, uh, gave me the little nudge. I think I needed to, to, take a stab at it so I don't know we'll see it is a lot of work too you just don't realize until you're lugging around a Canon DSLR with the little microphone on the top and you're you know throwing in your car as you're driving around and all that kind of stuff so we'll see could be epic blog fail is what it could all be but I'm gonna try to keep it up as a daily thing and we'll see how exciting is the life of Sam Canuck I don't know I guess uh, my YouTube subscribers will can be the judge. How many thumbs up or thumbs down will I get is yet to be determined. But yeah, I see some other people are joining on. What's up, what's up? Um, yeah, I someone just said rearranging the, the racks. Uh, so that's something that's coming up for me too. Um, I may end up picking up uh, 500 series rack that just is DB25 in and out because that's what the Orion is. So it makes it all like, man, I'm just gonna get DB25 cables and just kind of lock and load everything in, you know, preamps in and out of analog compressors and my summing mixer. So I think that'll be a summer project. Uh, I loaded uh, my new computer with all my plugins that I own. Picked up a couple new ones. I need to YouTube demo those. Coming up, I picked up um, two from Waves. And I also just loaded up Omnisphere 2. And I played around with that last night, just kind of barely, you know, clicking through. I probably went through 20 patches. And it's, uh, my buddy uh, Brian Steckler has been telling me for ever now, He's like, you gotta get Omnisphere, you gotta get Omnisphere, because I, I hear his stuff and the sounds and I'm like, oh man, those are good, those are so good. So, I'm gonna try to use Omnisphere uh, 2 a little bit more in some of my stuff coming up. Trying to do licensing music. So, if you have any advice for me, I'm, I'm uh, always willing to learn and soak it in. I just did a song with Kat that song is just about done. Oh, speaking of that song with Kat, um, I just had Joe Gilder, who I was just talking about as inspiring kind of some of this vlogging stuff. Uh, he did the whistling for uh, the, Kat, the song that Kat and I are working on. So that was really fun. And he was like, hey, I watched your first vlog and, and he made a couple comments on there. So yeah, encouraging. Um, yeah, I got my I got my my whistles going in the beginning of this song. Um, it's got whistles. It's got ukulele. It's got hand claps. Actually, it's kind of interesting. The song's about building a house, and so some of the sounds, um, uh, some of the sounds I pulled from "I Want That Sound." Great sample packs, um, but one of them was like a door sound, like a door being kicked or hit, and kind of had like a little bouncy. 
almost like a hollow door. So that's in the song. Um, I also was just thinking, I'm thinking like, ah, oh, sounds of like, all right, let's build a house, let's build a house. And you like get ready to build something or work on something and yes, there, <laughs> there's, wait, hold on. Hey, hey, oh yeah, hey, hey, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's got haze in there. Sorry, Kevin, isn't that, I mean, it's licensing music, right? You gotta have some, you gotta have some haze and less hose. Uh, haze and less hose. Um, in there, yeah, there's haze in there. There's whistling in there. There's there's no finger snaps, but there's kind of some hand clap stuff in there, so it's fun. Turned out to be a cool song, and it was cool that Joe Gilder was just talking about in his uh, daily kind of vlog thing about just like asking. Oh no, it was his two minute tip. It was Joe Gilder's two minute tip, and he was talking about you know just ask, ask. You know you're working on something, you can't. You can't create music inside of a bubble anymore. It's just too hard. I've tried it in here. I've done a small handful of songs where I, I attempted to do everything from writing it and recording it and mixing it and do the whole thing. And then I do a song like my wife just wrote a song, Brave. It's on iTunes already. And it has great session musicians playing on it. And I didn't even mix it in here. Passed it off, sent it to a buddy of mine, Lucas, and uh, he killed it. He did such a great job of mixing it, so it's out there. It's on iTunes, and we'll do a little bit more of a formal release coming up here soon. But that's an example of, like, like I just sent an email to uh, a guitar player who's one of my idols that I've looked up to um, since I first started playing electric, I used to go to a lot of the local shows around here and he was a guitar player I'd see playing with the Violet Burning or I think I saw him play with the Prayer Chain filling in for Andy Prickett before. And um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I made friends with him on Facebook and I just sent him a message. Hey, big fan of yours, got a song and what would be the chance of, you know, laying down some, some nice guitar on there. And Sean Tubbs, Nashville guy, plays with... Uh, Carrie Underwood. Ah, the Friday brain is still working. So, yeah. So you, I mean, you, you don't know that stuff. You wouldn't know unless you send it out there and say, uh, you know, hey, what's, what, what would this look like? What's the possibilities? You just don't know and you, unless you ask and you catch people on a day when they can whistle at the beginning of your song or add a guitar track or help you mix it or something like that. So it's fun. I love the collaborative, um, the process. Mm -hmm.